In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create admin panel for an e-commerce site. The task of creating admin panel uh, has been divided into three parts and today I will show you the part one. Uh, first of all, you have to download this zip file and unzip the content and store the content into the admin folder of your project. If you complete the last <coughs> five tasks of creating a commerce site, then uh, you have created this admin folder and that contains the product images folder. And uh, this is the admin file that uh, you have to download and I will unzip it. Now I will move the container of admin folder to the main admin folder. Okay, now I will remove this folder. Now go for the step two, create includes folder inside the admin folder. Okay, our include folder is created, that is empty now. And in, in step 3, create header.php file inside this encode folder. Now copy the content of step 3. Yes, it's here. Save the file. Uh, this header file is created to display the header of the admin panel. That will contain the admin logout option, change password option, and these are created by using this menu. Okay, now you can go for the next step. Create sidebar.php inside the include folder. Copy the content of step 4 and paste it. This file contains the necessary sidebar menu for the admin panel, such as uh, shipping or updating or deleting the user information, product information, log information, uh, change password. These are the uh, menu item of the site. And when the user uh, click on the particular option, uh, then this option, and then the content of the uh, link will be appear. When the user click on the create category option, then the category form will appear. Subcategory for creating subcategory, insert product for creating new product, and manage product to show, edit, update, or delete the existing product. And uh, another option is user login log that will show the login entry of the user and the uh, last one is logout option okay now you can go for step 5 create footer.psv for the admin panel now copy the content on step step 5 for Now I will go for the next step, step 6, index.php uh, inside the admin panel. Now copy the content of step 6. Okay, this is the index file uh, of the admin panel and that will uh, retrieve the username and password based on the data submitted by the user using login form. If the user is also indicated, and then a session will be created for the admin user. Otherwise, invalid, invalid username and password passes will be displayed. And it contains the login form that contains username, password, and submit button. And require link for JS file. Okay. Now you can go for the step 7, create manage product.psp that will display the existing product from the database.
Now copy the content of step 7. Save the file. If you check the content of the file, the upper part are, uh, looks like the other file. And uh, you can delete a product uh, by selecting particular product ID. And uh, see the table has been used to display the product. So, uh, and this is the setting for the data table. In each uh, page, by default, it will display five records from the table, and you can increase it to change 20, 25, and 50. And uh, uh, delete and edit button will exist uh, in the data table, and the code for edit and delete will be added in the next part of admin panel today. Now I can go for a step 8, create manage user.psp uh, to display the existing user information. Copy the content of step 8. Save the file and uh, this file will retrieve all user information, register user information from the user table uh, and display the user information here. And the admin can modify any uh, user information or delete any user when required. Now go for step 9, create change password.psp to change the existing password of the admin user. In of step 9. Save the file and uh, this file will use to change the existing password of the admin panel and to do this you have to know the current password of the admin and you can set new password. So the form contains the current password, new password and confirm password field and the submit button and required necessary JS file. Now you can go for the last step, uh, step 9, to create logout.php for the admin user. Logout.php And the content of the file is this. Save the file and uh, it will uh, destroy the current session of the admin user. Now it's time to check the code is working properly or not. For this, you have to open the database and uh, the admin user account cannot be created from the front end. So to use an admin account, you can choose any existing uh, user. Uh, and uh, the password, encrypted password for the user uh, where you know the real password and you use it for the admin user that I have done here. And because the password will be checked after encryption, so you can set, you can set real password here. Now it's time to check it out. Hold. <laughs> There are uh, six products in the product table. So according to the data table, uh, I have uh, shown you these are the, and, uh, if I choose five, then next button will appear and you can see the last one. So user log PHP is not created, that will be created in the next 
here and then now I will take the other analysis and these are showing the existing user information and if you want to change the password you can yes, click here change password then the uh, change password from will appear and you can choose that you cannot type the card you have to type the card password here and the password here And uh, you can log out from here, or you can choose log out option from here also. And if you type the invalid username or password, then you will get the error message. In this way, you can start implementing the admin panel for your e-commerce site or any website. Thank you for watching.